Hello and welcome to The Point from Navitend. In this screencast we'll look at combining multiple PDF documents. Let's get started. Without the full version of Adobe Acrobat, it can be a difficult task to combine multiple PDF files into one. However, if you use the freeware PDF binder software, the task is quite simple. Follow along with these steps. First, browse to the PDF binder website. Uh, the link is on your screen. It's code.google.com slash p slash PDF binder slash downloads slash list. This will bring you directly to the page where you can choose to download PDF Binder. Choose version 1.2, which is the top item in the list, and just click this arrow here to download the file. After the download has finished, click the installer and run it. Follow the on-screen instructions. It's okay to lead everything at its default values. After the PDF binder installation has finished, click Close to exit the installer. You can then open PDF binder by browsing to your Start menu and scrolling down to the PDF binder entry and selecting PDF binder. The software is very simple and to the point. Add the PDF files you wish to combine by clicking the Add File button. I have three PDF documents on my des desktop, PDF1, PDF2, and PDF3, that I'm going to combine. I can select all three of them at once or simply choose one and click open and repeat the process for each additional file. Once you've selected and added all the files you wish to combine into the PDF binder window, choose bind. PDF binder will ask you where you want to save the combined PDF. I'm going to say PDF 1, 2, 3 and save it on my desktop. PDF binder is pretty quick. You can see that the process has finished and I have my three PDF files stitched together. The final feature I want to discuss briefly, if we reopen PDF binder and I add the same three files, one, two, and three, and choose open, I can change the order in which these documents are combined by selecting them and choosing the up or down arrows to move that particular document to the top or bottom of my list. So let's say I want PDF2 to be the first page, PDF1 to be the second page, and PDF3 to be the third page. I've arranged it as such, and now I'll bind these as PDF213 and save that as my desktop as well. You can see now that PDF2 is the first page, PDF1 is the second page, and PDF3 is the third page. With that, we reach the conclusion of the screencast. You can watch previous issues or subscribe to receive the point via email on our website, navattend.com. Thanks, and have a great week.